Greetings, all gallant sailors on YouTube. Welcome to Abyssal Recap. Today I will explain a horror thriller movie called, Good Night Mommy. Spoilers alert. Buckle up and take care. Twin brothers Elias and Lucas return home to live with their estranged mother after staying with their father since their divorce. They are expecting a warm reunion but what awaits them are gloomy bedroom, food leftovers with flies hovering around. Upon seeing their mother again, they are disturbed to find her wearing a full bandage over her whole head, resembling a white balaclava. Mother explains that she just had a cosmetic surgery. The boys quickly sense something strange about mother, who intentionally ignores Lucas but only speak with Elias, she drinks heavily, appears callous, and will not sing the lullaby she always used to sing to them as children. The boys head to the barn the next day but their mother catches them right at the scene. Scolding Elias for fooling around the barn. She restricts him from going outside anymore. Elias feels distressed when his mother acts so strange and only blaming him not Lucas. Somehow, Lucas comforts him and treats his wounds. At night, Elias suffers from a haunting nightmare where he sees blood trail in the barn with gunshot ringing. Having awakened from the dream, he got up from his wedding bed. Hearing his mother chatting on the phone saying she had to be pretending on something, which arouses more of his suspicion. He gets back to his bed before the alerted mother scold him again. Elias tells Lucas about what he heard, they later sneak into her room while she's sleeping downstairs. There, they find odd pills she's been consuming and they're drawing in a waste bin. As they are busy searching, the susceptible mother goes back to her room. They witness her tearing the drawing apart while hiding. Lucas makes an wild assumption that the hooded mother must be an imposter. They continue deducing the conjecture from a photo of her in which she has green eyes in lieu of the blue one their bandaged mother is having. At bedtime, with surging nostalgia, they rewatch the old footage of her singing lullaby to them. But mother rushes in, taking them as talking with their father. She confiscates the phone and later breaks it. With the contact of the open world destroyed, the boys decide to defend themselves with toy gun with regular night shifts. One night while she is taking a bath, Elias attempts to remove the skincare face mask she is wearing, and conflict ensues. Elias hit his mother and flees back to his room. She frenetically cracks the door open. And, after Elias tells her she is not their mother, she slaps him, then drags him to the bathroom, sprays him with freezing cold shower water until he admits he is wrong. Later at that night, Elias proceeds having another nightmare, he sees mother shedding her skin into a carbonized monster. Terrified of mother, they pack their bags and find shelter in a nearby house. The owner seems to not live there, but due to the heavy rain outside, the brothers decide to stay there. Elias suffers from another nightmare till he is waken up by the police. The owner has noticed movement through the motion sensors and asks the police to find out if anyone had trespassed on his property. The boys tries to explain to the police that the woman they were living with was an imposter and not their mother. The police later receive a call from their mother and drop them back at home. To their surprise, she doesn't wear mask anymore. From her conversation with the policeman, mother was a celebrity, but her fame had faded over time. She convinces the police with the issues she had with her son and sends them away. The situation is beyond control now. The twin brothers know they have to leave, but to do so, they have to take care of their mother. They know that her medicine makes her drowsy. So they wait first. The following morning, mother wakes to find her arms and legs tied to the bed with duct tape. She demands to be let free, adamant she is their mother. Even though she apologizes for her past mistakes, Lucas is not convinced. He refuses to believe that she is his mother and pours cold water onto her mother. Lucas plans to run away from the house with Elias, and he prepares for it. But Elias is not ready to give up on their mother. He asks her why her eyes are not green as they used to be in pictures. She tries to convince him by stating that she wore colored lenses and had them in her bag. Lucas checks the bag and confirms that he did not find the lens. According to Lucas, the mother is lying, and questioning her is a waste of time, but Elias becomes sentimental. Meanwhile, the police come to check on them. He lies to them about his mother, stating that she is not at home. The police are not satisfied with his answer, but they do not have the time to investigate. Lucas and Elias leave their home with their mother tied to the bed and her mouth sealed with tape. Elias lies to Lucas, saying that he had forgotten his toothbrush and rushes back home. He checks the bag and found the green lens. He realizes that Lucas has lied to him. He pushes Lucas aside, enters his mother's room, and locks it. He unties her and cries in his mother's arms, expressing how it was Lucas who was manipulating him all this time. His mother embraces him and tries to calm him down. Elias wants his mother to help Lucas. Mother agrees and asks him to accompany her to the barn later at night. 
But in the meantime, Elias cannot find Lucas. As he approaches the barn, he could feel the overwhelming fear. He do not wish to face the truth, but his mother encourages him to look at the bloodstained wall. She reminds him that he was playing with Lucas in the field at that day, but they soon headed to the barn and found a gun and did not know that it was loaded. He shot Lucas by mistake, and he died as a result of the accident. This is why she was so traumatized seeing his drawing. She wants him to differentiate between fantasy and reality. Elias cannot accept the truth, and wants his mother to stop forcing him to face it. More brutal moments in the past flashes into his memory. He cries and screams louder begging his mother to stop imbuing him with all of this. He pushes her off the elevation. Mother falls to the ground without consciousness. Elias is too shocked to realize what he has done. And the fire from the lantern caught on the hay in the woods. The entire barn catches on fire, and, he flees to save his own life. He was struggling to comprehend what had unfolded, it was too much for him to process. He looks up and sees his mother. She's unaffected by the fire, and behind her is Lucas. She held her hand out for Elias, and the three left together, just like in the picture Elias had drawn. However, it is because that he opts to lean on his illusion in the end rather than accepting the reality. The worst thing is his mother has now also joins his fantasy just like his long-gone twin brother, Lucas. That's the end of today's video. If you do enjoy watching it, feel free to leave a like and consider to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Abyssal signing out.